Hello, my name is Sohun. I'm the Product Manager for the Cyber Security Essential course. I'd like to provide an overview of the Cyber Security Essential 1.0 course in this video. It is an undeniable fact that cyber threats are growing exponentially and we hear news of cyber attacks regularly. Cyber crime is a fast-growing area of crime. More and more criminals are exploiting the speed, convenience and enormity of the internet to commit a diverse range of criminal activities that know no borders, either physical or virtual, cause serious harm and pose very real threats to victims worldwide. The collective impact is staggering. Billions of dollars are lost repairing systems hit by such attacks. Data from the website hamageddon.com shows that almost all major industries and online services have been a cyber attack target. With such widespread proliferation of cyber attacks, and as people conduct more of their lives online, it is important to educate students on cybersecurity and its impacts on individuals and corporations. The cost of security breaches affects both the bottom line and organizational reputation. Data breaches are now a consistent cause of doing business in the cybercrime era. The evidence showed that this is a permanent risk organizations need to be prepared to deal with. A recent Pohimon studies of 383 companies in 12 countries found that the average consolidated total cost of a data breach is 4 million US dollar, a 23% increase since 2013. This has fueled a huge growth in cybersecurity spending to the tune of $1 trillion, according to a report by Cybersecurity Ventures. It is no wonder that the Bureau of Labor Statistics data in U.S. indicates that demand for cybersecurity jobs is expected to grow by 53% over the next two years. A report from Cisco puts the global figure at 1 million cybersecurity job openings. Demand is expected to rise to 6 million globally by 2019, with a projected shortfall of 1.5 million jobs. This growing demand had led to cybersecurity professionals commanding an average salary premium of nearly $6,500 per year higher than a non-cybersecurity professional, or 9% more than other IT workers. According to the Job Market Intelligence Cybersecurity Jobs 2015 report published by Burning Grass Technology, the cybersecurity market provides great career opportunities for graduating students. However, it's important for students to start learning and building related security skills early in preparation for this high-demand career. I'm pleased to announce the general availability of the Cybersecurity Essentials 1.0 course. The Cybersecurity Essentials course is a hands-on e-learning solution designed for students who are interested in pursuing further studies in the field of cybersecurity. This foundational course provides an overview of the cybersecurity field. The curriculum explores the characteristics of and tactics used by cyber criminals. It then dives into the technologies, products, and procedures cybersecurity professionals use to combat cybercrime. The curriculum is appropriate for students at many education levels and parts of institutions, including high schools, universities, colleges, career and technical schools, and community centers or colleges. For proper skill building, we highly recommend that students take the prerequisite course, Introduction to Cybersecurity 2.0 course, and be familiar with the content and skills covered in that course before taking the Cybersecurity Essential course. The Cybersecurity Essential course is 30 hour long and consists of eight chapters of rich media content, including interactive activities, videos, games and quizzes that address a variety of learning styles and help stimulate learning and increase knowledge retention. The curriculum encourages students to consider additional security education, but also emphasizes applied skills and hands-on experience. The course is currently available in English. The course is available in both instructor-led and self-paced format. The main goals of this course are to help students learn and acquire essential knowledge and skills in the various security domains, including cybersecurity, information security, 
application security, host and system security, network security, mobile security and related technologies, protection techniques, security laws, ethics and policies. We hope to motivate students to consider or advance a career in cybersecurity given the vast demand for cybersecurity professionals in the market. When students complete the cybersecurity essential course, these are the key competencies that they will acquire that will allow them to have a good understanding of the cybersecurity world, the players in there, the tactics used by the cyber criminals and technologies and procedures and countermeasures used by the cybersecurity professionals. This forms the foundation on which students can build upon to pursue more in-depth technical knowledge and skills in their respective security specialization. The curriculum consists of the following components, eight chapters of rich multimedia content presented in a familiar, easy-to-navigate graphical user interface. Technical concepts are explained using language that works well for learners at all levels and the embedded 34 interactive activities break out reading of the content and help reinforce understanding. 12 hands-on labs using PC to access a combination of security tools. Some labs include the use of a custom virtual machine, or VM in short. Students should have access to a PC with a VM installed. Students can also download and install the VM on their own PC. 10 Cisco Packet Tracer simulation-based learning activities and a Packet Tracer Skill Integration Challenge at the end of the course. It helps students develop critical thinking and complex problem-solving skills. A minimum version of 6.3 is required for Packet Tracer. Innovative assessment includes modifiable end-of-chapter quiz and a dynamically built final quiz that pulls from eight pools of questions that provides immediate feedback to support the evaluation of knowledge and acquired skills. The content contains accessible text and videos all come with closed captioning. A certificate of completion will be awarded to each student after the completion of the course, the final exam and the end of course survey. The Cybersecurity Essential course has eight chapters to cover the key foundational content in security. These two slides show chapters outlined and the corresponding goals. The first chapter explains the structure of the cybersecurity world and the reason it continues to grow with data and information as the prize currency. It looks at the role of cyber criminals by examining what motivates them and the factors that lead to the spread and growth of cyber crimes. This chapter also explains the structure and efforts committed by government and organizations to expand the cybersecurity workforce. Chapter 2 covers the principles of confidentiality, integrity, and availability as they relate to data states and cybersecurity countermeasures. It discusses the three dimensions of the McCumber Cube, the CIA triad, the three states of data, the three categories of cybersecurity safeguards, and the ISO cybersecurity model, an international framework standard for the management of information system. Threats, vulnerabilities, and attacks are the central focus of cybersecurity criminals. This chapter discussed the various cybersecurity attacks that cyber criminals launch, including malware and malicious codes, the types of trickery involved in social engineering, and the maneuvering attacks that are experienced in both the wired and wireless networks. Chapter 4 covers the technologies, products, and procedures used to protect confidentiality. It discusses cryptology principles used in securing communications, how it is used in symmetric and asymmetric encryption algorithms, and provided examples of their use. This chapter also covers different access control models and access control types. The chapter concluded by discussing the various ways users mask data, where data obfuscation and stenography are two techniques used to accomplish that. Chapter 5 discusses how the Act of Integrity ensures that data remains unchanged by anyone or anything over its entire life cycle. This chapter began by discussing the types of data integrity controls, the purpose of digital signatures and certifications in verifying authenticity of data, 
The chapters also covers the need for database integrity enforcement to ensure stability, performance, and maintainability. In Chapter 6, students will learn about the technologies, products, and procedures used to provide high availability. It explains the concepts of five nines, a high ability industry standards that allows for 5.26 minutes of downtime per year. The chapter discusses the various approaches that organizations take to ensure system availability. Solid system design includes accommodating measures that provide redundancy and resiliency so that an organization can recover quickly and continue operation. The chapters also discuss how an organization responds to an incident by establishing procedures that it follows after an event occurs, disaster recovery, and business continuity planning. This chapter discussed the technologies, processes, and procedures used to defend the system, devices, and data that make up the network infrastructure, including host hardening, which includes securing the operating system, implementing an antivirus solution, and using host-based solutions such as firewalls and intrusion detection systems. Server hardening includes managing remote access, securing privileged accounts, and monitoring services. Data protections includes file access control and implementing security measures to ensure confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. Device hardening involves implementing proven methods of physical securing network devices. Module 8 categorizes the information technology infrastructure created by the advancement of technology into domains. The successful cybersecurity professional should be aware of the proper security controls in each domain required to meet the requirements of the CIA triad. This chapter discussed the laws that affect technology and cybersecurity requirements and ethical behavior. The chapter also explored the opportunity to become a cybersecurity professional. Finally, this chapter discussed several tools available to cybersecurity professionals. Instructor requirements. Generally, security involves a wide range of technologies. Thus, to teach this course, we recommend that instructors have CCNA level networking, that is CCNA routing and switching, or security knowledge and skills, such as CCNA security, CISSP, CompTIA Security Plus. Instructor training is optional but highly recommended for new instructors. The new instructors may choose to take Introduction to Cybersecurity 2.0 and Cybersecurity Essentials self-paced courses to understand the content and prepare themselves. Or they may take an instructor training delivered by a instructor training centers or ITCs. Instructor training is estimated to be around 15 hours and the delivery format could be in-person, branded or remote online delivery. As part of getting our instructors ready to teach the new cybersecurity essential course, we are working with the technical field engagement team to cover the content in the course in the Global IPD Week scheduled for November. Please look out for the announcement and attend the webinars. This is a great opportunity for instructors to understand and familiarize with the new content. To make it convenient for instructors, we have consolidated all the relevant resources for instructors in the instructor resource page. You may access this page after you log in to netacad.com and select the course. The link to this page and screenshot are shown on the slide. We hope this will help instructors as they prepare to teach the class. The Cybersecurity Essential course is available in instructor-led and self-paced format. Instructors can enroll their students and teach the course in their classroom through the same process used for the other NetAcad courses. Instructors may contact their Academy Support Centre for any assistance. Student Enrollment and Support Students may visit the course information page on ciscoNetAcad.com to enroll in the self-paced version of the course. Please join the Cisco Networking Academy Facebook if you need assistance or support for the course. This is a brief overview of the Introduction to Cybersecurity Essential course. Thank you for your time.